Welcome to Fridays with Tab and Chance. I'm Tabitha Brown, and this is my husband. Chance, what's up? Today, it's going to be very interesting. Um, I'm sipping a little. It's kind of like a chai coffee because the way it looks. But I don't know if I need to move the cup for a chance to bring the beat in. Think it's going to be all right? It's going to be all right. Well, in that case, bring the beat in. Friday, Friday, Fridays with Tab and Chance. But on bump bump, Fridays, Fridays, Fridays with Tab and Chance. <laughs> See, I'll put the sip in for the beat. Did you catch it? I don't need no sip in the beat. No, nah, babe, listen. It's like a sound effect. You know what kind of sound effect it is? Like a reverb. No, it's a sip. No, babe, you got to listen to the sound. It's like a, it's almost like when somebody goes. No, it's like when listen, somebody sip. Hear the D nice in this, listen. Ain't no D nice in it. Ain't no D nice in it. You know when you gently ain't nothing, ain't nothing but a sip. Babe, listen. No, you, hear a me sip out. is a sip. When you put the little thing on the bracket, just cause you feel goes, like it's a sip. I mean, a D nice, it it's a sip. That's what it is. Sip. Welcome to Fridays with Tab and Chance. Um, you see how he think one thing and I think something else. It's kind of about what the topic going to be today. The topic today is all about how we see ourselves. Body positivity, body insecurity, uh, internally body shaming, uh, all the things. But it all boils down to how we see ourselves. That was me layering the beat over the topic. No, that was you sipping loud. That's what that was. Remember when you lied and told people that I chew loud? No, I didn't lie. I told the people the truth. You chew loud. You want to go to the audience? You actually, Do you want to go? You want to call a witness? Actually. Do you want to call a witness? No, I don't. But okay. I, I would like to say that you JR, does she chew loud? <laughs> Don't give no thumbs up. <laughs> you chew loud. Wow, JR. <clears throat> so y'all both are going to sit here on live television and chew shame me? Ain't nobody chew shaming you. You you the one brought y'all up. Y'all is chew shaming me. You ain't me. chewing on nothing and we're not shaming you. We just, you said we lied. <clears throat> I lied and then I just corrected you and, and you right. chew loud. <clears throat> so today Real let's loud. talk about it. Like a horse. Ooh, oh my god, oh my god, my bear almost jumped on you. Oh my lord, I had a oh I had to pull the Holy Spirit, had to pull back. Oh, All right, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. My goodness. What's the topic? My get back spirit. The topic is how we see ourselves. Come on, bae. How you how we see ourselves versus how other people see us too, but insecurities. Cause I think our insecurities or body positivity mindset plays a huge role in how we see ourselves, right? Mm -hmm. Cause a lot of times, you know, over the years, man, I have torn myself down and apart. Um, it's crazy, the, the picture from the nineties in, in the bikini. Mm -hmm. So remember the other week I did, we did uh, the nineties, uh, Fridays for Tab and Chance, right? And I talk to you. Look, Lord, I can't talk. It's the caffeine. It's the caffeine. Y'all don't do good on this caffeine like that. But I talked about when we went to the beach and I had my bikini on with my Tims because I thought I was on a hill. My friend sent me the picture and I looked so good on the picture. When I looked, I was like, man, I, I look good. But what I remembered was 
I also thought I was fat back then. Yep. Th this thing right here is crazy. So that was how I saw me. But back then, how did you see me, babe? The same way I see you now. Look good to me. Told you back then. Tell you now. You trying to? Nope. I ain't trying to do nothing. I'm just answering your question. I, I, I can't go no further with it because I told you then, I, in 25 years later, you still doing the same thing you was doing back then. Giving you the eye? No. I don't, I don't tear myself apart like I used back then. Man. No, you don't. No, no, no you I'm don't. free now. Thank you, Jesus. You know, Tab back in the day wouldn't even, I weighed myself at least 12 to 20 times a day. And depending on how much it said, I won't go eat. I was killing myself. It was terrible. Um, but I think that we living in a time where like everybody desires to be, per like have this perfect image um, with, you know, for women. I'm, I'm going to speak just as for women. I know prior to having children, you know, I grew up watching my mama, uh, you know, talk bad about her body. And she would always look at her stomach and she'd have me and my sister and she, 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 it was ripped to shreds, right? And not in ripped as in like six pack ripped, like, you know, tons of uh, stretch marks and where she'd had surgery and different things. Um, and she had cellulite. And she made me aware of what all these imperfections in her mind were. And so I started at a very early age looking at my body saying, I got to say like too. Man, I'm fat too. Like I don't feel, you know, like I look good either at an early age. And it went on for over 20 plus years as an adult uh, of tearing myself down and constantly being on a, on a diet. I think that one of the things uh, when I first, you know, got pregnant with choice, my thought was, oh my God, I hope I don't get stretch marks. And I ended up getting a lot of stretch marks. And I was doing the cocoa butter every day, the uh, vitamin E, I was doing it all thinking like, man, am I gonna get rid of this? Am I gonna be able to make them invisible? Um, and I think, I mean, I, I definitely went through a, a time of being ashamed of how my stomach looked. Do you recall that? When my stomach, you know, after having chores? Yeah, I recall everything because I've been with you through it all. I remember, I mean, I'm just, you're, gonna, you're just focusing on your stomach, so I'm going to stay focused on your stomach. I mean, I mean, but, <clears> everything, <throat> my stomach, my thighs, like, everything changed. Like, especially after you have children. So even, you know, your body going to change whether you have children or not. From your teenage years to your 20s to your 30s to your 40s and, and so on and so on, the body is going to change. For women, a lot of times, insecurities are stretch marks or cellulite body proportion, how your body is shaped. Some women got the pear shape, the apple shape, the oval, the, the circle, the orange, like whatever your body shape is, we think that this whole Coca-Cola, oh. Coke, Coke bottle. The oval? Yeah, like an egg. Man. I mean, <laughs> some women are shaped. I, I, I mean, I'm <laughs> I, that's what they, I ain't trying to be insistent. That's what they call it. Okay, all right. That's you don't really what, see hey. somebody walk around looking like an egg, but you know you have some women the who world. have very small legs and their body shape is oh, more okay. like round or oval. -like. I, I, get, I get it, baby. It's just, you know, mm -hmm. the oval. You know what I mean. So anyway, I think that we, there's, I don't even know where this came from, the whole Coke bottle thing. I'm sure it was very European, um, but. Absolutely not. What? <laughs> what? Why would you say that? The Coke bottle bottle? Yeah, coming from the European, where it stems from. Because <clears throat> the, that's what we saw years and years before black people were being shown on television and in magazines, it was, it was the Marilyn Monroe's. It was the white women. It was very European. Well, I, you know what? what I just, I don't give curves. I don't give Let's curves. Let's look it up. What I'm getting at is this. I don't give curves. When I think curves, I think black women. 
That's what I think. I think black women. I don't think European at tall. Babe. You get what I'm saying? That's the reason know. I said I don't think when I when you say curves, Coke bottle, Coke bottle say, say all oh, when you when you hear Coke bottle, you don't think, do you think European? I don't think European. I think <clears throat> I think black women. Coke bottle. I I You get what I'm saying? And I'm with you, babe. But let's see, where did it stem from? Um Let's see where it stemmed from. It's going to be a black woman's face. The on first it. reference Booty. to the body as a contour was a 19 for the Coca-Cola contour bottle, 1925 French magazine. Mm. We were not the poster child, right? Well, I'm just, I, I get what you, I'm just saying when you I, say I know what bottle. you, I know what you mean now, mm. but there was a time where our curves were not embraced. And so we were sold a lot as, as black women, okay? We were sold this lie that we had to fit a European standard when, you know, coming from Africa, you know, the, the bigger the better, you know, the, the curves and, and all of the things. Um, but we were sold this, this lie that we needed to be smaller and we began to believe that. And so we started to tear ourselves apart, I think, it, it started a very, um, you know, a very long time ago. So I think the unlearning process is going to take even longer. Uh, trying to be perfect or trying to have this Coke bottle body. I think that we got to be all right with however our body is. However, that doesn't mean we don't have insecurities, right? Because, listen, I used to definitely, as a little girl, that's why I wore this right here today. Let me just show y'all. Listen, y'all know I, I grew up in the church. And so, my uh, Sunday school teachers, I used to call this the Sunday school arm. Because they all had the, when they would be writing on the board and stuff, they arm would do this. But it would be much longer. And I'd be like, oh, that's the Sunday school. I thought all Sunday school teachers had that. I just thought that was a thing. Because <laughs> no matter if I went to my granny church or if I went to <laughs> my daddy the church, every time I went to Sunday school, the teacher had the, <laughs> she had the arm. So I thought, oh, only the Sunday school teachers got that. But hey. listen, Tab, Tab oh, got hey. it and I ain't taught nobody Sunday school. <laughs> All the Sunday school teachers now are going to be wearing long sleeves in church. Ain't no, what I'm saying is if you got it, girl, flown it. This is mm. your business, okay? Let your wings fly, all right? So, but that's, that's the misconception um, that I had as a child. But then I also, as I got older, thought something was wrong with that, right? Listen, uh, listen, I got my blackie right here under the seat. This right here, can y'all... <clears throat> All, all of this, that's for them babies, right? Abatha, she in there too, though. But this is what women be scared to talk about or show. But this is real life. Like, this is after having two children, okay? I got a sports bra on now. But my, from the side, you can see strong, they bees. They be cubs. Ain't no padding in there to help. But one sits on the mountaintop and one looks low. Okay, they, cause <laughs> with this to God honest truth. When I breastfed both my children, one breast was like, girl, I'm gonna give you three months. The other breast was like, girl, I'm gonna hold on for eight. And then, <laughs> so the one that held on for eight months giving the milk is, is she shriveled up a little bit more than the other one, right? So. They not the same. All breasts are not measured equal. And it's all right. This is a, this a real woman, whole real woman's body, and these are the things that happen. But was I always secure about it? Did I, would, there was a time I would never did this right here. Even wore a two-piece bathing suit, right, babe? Mm. Like, so insecurity is a real thing. Um, when you believe that you're supposed to look one way. That's what, what causes that. When you believe a lie that's been told to you, and now this is not even just about being a black woman, just a woman, period. We'll believe that we have to have this perfect image when the perfect image is whatever you are. 
My thing is, as long as I'm healthy, that's all I care about, right? Now, I do want to look good, right? Which is why I work out and, you know, I try not to gain a whole massive amount of weight or nothing like that. But I'm also the thickest I've ever been um, without being pregnant. Like, I, I never used to be this thick because I was afraid to gain weight. I didn't want to look a certain way in my mind. That wasn't a beautiful look for me, especially for Hollywood. So I think that we got to get to a place of just embracing and loving ourselves. That's as a woman, right? That's just as a woman. Thankfully, I got a, a husband who has always, he ain't never cared. And then my foot probably could have grew out the side of my hip and he would have been like, babe, the way that the toes look though, the, it make your hip look a little bit, man, look good. Turn around, let me see. <laughs> let me see God. Let me see what it feel like. <laughs> he don't care. Okay, but it also, which is a big thing, and, and I think men, y'all have to understand this. When we don't feel beautiful, we don't want to be touched. When we don't feel, when we feeling like we didn't gain weight or we don't feel attractive, it really ain't nothing you can tell us to make us believe it if we don't believe it. Um, we be grateful, like I was grateful over the years, but until I got to my place, I had to literally do a lot of mental work to even feel beautiful enough, sometimes just to have sex with my husband, right? Because in my mind, I'm like, I know he gotta be seeing what I'm seeing. He just saying whatever, but he, he can't believe that this look good. You know what I'm saying? But. <laughs> But that that's a woman's mind. He laughing because no, I'm, they only... laughing. I'm laughing because hey, look. <laughs> I'm seeing what you see, but I don't see it how you see it. <clears throat> now I ain't gonna speak for all the men in well, the world. Well speak on it, babe. I, I ain't gonna speak for all the men in the world. I'm just gonna right. tell you how I, you know. As as you the As man. I've heard from my closest bros mm -hmm. and how I feel, mm -hmm. the stretch marks and this thing that we like to refer to is called the dark meat. That's up under the butt. Hey, yeah, brother, know what I'm talking about. Oh. Dark meat. In the back? The dark meat. The dark meat can be... Leg and thigh. Leg and thigh. <laughs> 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 now, this is, now to us, <clears throat> that's like when you see dark meat, it's a privilege. It's something you're not supposed to see. It's enticing. It's like a turn on. It's like to, to y'all, it is, you know, and I, and I had to learn to, I had to learn to hear you and understand that because I used to get offended listening to Tab talk about herself as if she was talking about, it would be like this woman talking about my girl. <laughs> like, and I am her. <laughs> Like, and I look like I, a stranger. Yeah, and I would get offended. Like, don't say that about her. What's wrong with you? Her being her. But I get it now. But I just when it when it when dark meat stretch marks. That to me is, and I'm not. I can't speak for every man. You're perfect with your imperfections to mm -hmm. me, and <clears throat> it just. To me, is in, in a, a it's an uh, incentive kind of, you know what I mean? Like uh, just to say, I don't know. It's just I'm seeing something I ain't supposed to be seeing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it looked uh, good. And it looked good to me. It's just, it was just, you is know, it I don't a know. Man thing though, like, I, I, do men even see? You know, I, because y'all have to see, have an attraction to something, right? We see right? it, but we don't. I'm, we don't see it like you see it. It's not a turn off. Like to you, you look at it as a you look at it as something that is like a bad, like a bad scar, mm -hmm. right? But to 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 me, I look at it as that's a grown <laughs> woman. <laughs> 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 That's what I'm trying. I was trying to figure out a way, and I'm and I'm attracted, you know, to a grown <laughs> woman. That's a grown Dang. woman. Like, they, man, listen, we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna talk about it. It's a, it's a grown 
And then I won't, I like, you know what I mean? Like that's, you know, that to me is how I feel. So that's, you know what I mean? That's. So, I mean, but, but men still have to have things that make a woman unattractive to them. Most times. Or attractive, you know, some Yeah, there are, there, hey, look, there are a lot of things that can make a woman unattractive. Mm -hmm. Um, but what we're talking about is in the physical and then in the naked body. Yeah. Right? As it applies to me, <laughs> stress marks <laughs> is not one of them. Because, yeah, yeah. you get what I mean? It's just not one of them. Um, cause every, and, and it, every man is different, mm -hmm. but the majority of men, especially married men that I have met or I'm familiar with, I'm not going to lie to you. I have yet to hear one complaint be about, man, my wife has been on some weight. No, you can't, you believe she got some stress marks on her thighs. Most times it's like, Hey. I like when she wear them shorts and I can see right here them little them little stretch marks. That's what y'all be talking about. Or, yeah. Nasty when we start too. talking, no, you know like, what I mean? Like the when the top is it is is I'm, I I can't think of one time where it's like, hey man, my wife then had these babies and she ain't snapping back. It ain't that. It ain't. Yeah. I can't think of one time. Not one time. It's mostly. That's not our, that's not the thing that's unattractive. Yeah. <clears throat> so tell me this, cause sometimes, and you say this about me all the time, uh, I still look at you the exact same, right? Uh, yeah. Like <clears throat> you look to me, I know we've aged, but I still look at you and be like, this body looked the same to me. Like you still, like I can tell like when you got your, you know, you've been in the gym and stuff, I'm like, okay, babe. Mm -hmm. But I look at you and I still see the same chance. Like I see, you know, I see your gray and stuff like that, but you, I still see you. You ain't never really changed to me. Even when you be like, hey, babe, I gained 15 pounds or what, I be like, man, you, you, you look good. Like it didn't even, yeah. I, so for, for, is it that you've been together every single day for so long? It's just like with your children, you don't really see them growing up until all of a sudden a change happens. Mm -hmm. Is it that we see each other so much every day that you don't see the change? No, I actually, I absolutely see. You talking about as it pertains to you, like yeah, like with the, yeah. Uh, yeah, I absolutely see the difference in your body, um, in comparison to I've been we've been together since we was 19, 18, 19 years old. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see the difference, but I think it got better. You think it? You you know what I'm saying? It's like when I tell you that I was. I think it got better now. So but nah, what I'm talking. So look, I went through some times though. You don't know what it is when people say, when a, when a man say, <laughs> we joke about it, and I ain't trying to, you know, be nasty or not, nothing, but when a man say he, man, I, no, I want a grown woman, mm -hmm. you don't know until you with a grown woman mm -hmm. that, like, oh, that's what they're talking about. And this is what you're talking about, a woman, it's in your confidence with that, and where you feel like, I'm getting to see something that she ain't, that nobody see. Mm. And it's in, it's like this thing, it's an arousal. You know what I mean? It's this, it's just this thing that, that I, I, it's the best way I can describe it. Mm. It is, it's not how y'all, how you right. view it. It ain't, it ain't no ways how you view it. You, you absolutely see the difference. So but I know when I gained, when I first started gaining weight and not killing myself to get it off like I used to, when I got thicker, you was like, no, I like this. And I was like, but I can't get in my jeans. He was like, man, you, I don't need you in your jeans. Hey, don't look. Hey, that thing thangin', babe. Don't don't lose that. I was like, <laughs> don't, babe, don't ever wear another pair of jeans. I don't care about them jeans. I was like, put them but, jeans on there. This, this butt is big but and it is hey, heavy look, and I can't get hey, my look. pants on. So don't, that's what I'm saying. Look. But y'all be, you like that. That's your, you know, you, you always it's like that. I, I can't really, I, I can't. I done always had a big butt, but it's way bigger than them. Hip thighs and fries. So, but you like it. I, I like, I love it. I, just, I know you do. And I feel like most men do. Yeah. You get what I mean? It's just, but it, I, what I really, it, I want to come back to this. <laughs> it is hard for us to get over how we see you as opposed to how you see you. I will say that. I'll look at it and I'll be like, 
not a care in the world that you over there, you know, trying to kill yourself. And I'm like, I don't care. Like it, it because, is hard to get sympathy. Yeah, because it's not because it's it's because I really do see you attractive. Right. You get what I mean? It's like which is great. My wife's still beautiful. I don't care yeah. which y'all. <laughs> it's really in. I lose, we, we lose sight, I think we lose sight sometimes of how important it is for you. Mm -hmm. I came to terms with that with my own insecurities, right? With my own, and I'm like, Let's I, talk about it. I can't, I can't ask Tab. Because <clears throat> she gonna always be like, babe, you look good, babe. You know, you, that look good on you. And she don't really see me how I see me. And it wasn't until we started getting older, until I started getting older, to where I started to get insecure about certain things. Um, my, you know, just weight. Now she she has an issue with losing, um, or with gaining weight. Uh, she don't want to gain no weight. I have issue with losing weight. I don't like to lose it. I can <clears throat> feel if I lose five pounds, I can tell immediately in my clothes. Um, that's been a, a, a it was always an issue growing up, but <clears throat> more so. You know, the older I got, it, it, it has become more of an issue. Um, simply just because I don't, you know, I, I associate a certain grown man look with a certain weight and uh, muscle definition. So, like, look, like, if I don't work out four or five times a week, I will literally lose. If I don't eat five or six times a day, work out four or five times a week, I will lose weight. Um, as opposed to gaining weight. And, and that is just for me to maintain um, uh, 175 to 180, 180 pounds. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. And that's just my metabolism and, and, and the A very family. high metabolism. <clears throat> yeah. Um, that's one of the things that I'm secure about. I, I mean, insecure about at times. And... <laughs> Your mama gone. And... Um, I mean, men have all kind of insecurities. I, I mean, I, I don't really concern as much um, as I did <laughs> in my 30s. Mm. I just knew by the time I was 40, I was going to be bald. I was like, yeah, I'm going to be bald. <laughs> Is that a big thing for men? <clears throat> Absolutely. Is that an yeah. insecurity? Yeah, that's, a, that's definitely something that, that men uh, concern about is losing their hair. Um, you know, hence why you got people who getting plugs and weaves and men have uh, a lot of insecurities, you know, with the hair. Um, you got dye, you got hair plugs, you got tattoos, you got, you know, all that stuff. I didn't, I, I, I knew more about the, uh, I, what is it called, the micro? The microblading? I thing. knew more about that than most of my friends that are bald now. And, <laughs> and I didn't even know that he had been researching stuff. I'm like, how you know about this? Well, I was getting ahead of it. You know, yeah. one, I was one of the, I was like, hey, listen, God blessed me with this hair. <laughs> For I, how many years, he, he gave it to me. And I'm talking about, I was like, you know, I'm 44 now, so this is, I'm, I'm talking about like early 30s. I was like, hey, Start he, gonna, hey he gonna hold me down until I'm like 35, 40. I'm going to be ready, though. Like, I'm, I said to myself, I'm going I'm to figure out a way to get ahead of it. And I had all the research done um, and was like, not going to hesitate. Like, I'm about, yeah. to, I'm about to say this on off, but I'm going to be tattooed up. Like, something, something going to be <laughs> You want to just rock the bald head? Well, is it hard for a man to make a decision to just do the bald head? Yeah, you got to, you got to. So there's some things you got to consider. Number one at the top of that list is your head shape. <laughs> Everybody right. ain't got the shaped head. Every man does not have the shaped head. Everybody for a ball ain't got head. that Michael Jordan. It ain't that simple. Some, you know, some of us got that flat spot in the back of your head that's covered up by hair. Mm -hmm. You know, a great barber, Tibbs, my barber, is amazing. He can he can make your head imperfections look good with the style of your hair, with the mm -hmm. cut. You know, um, the other thing you gotta always keep in mind of why guys may not go bald is because in some places of the head, the hair will grow, it still will grow thick and fast. So the maintenance to keep it bald is like, man. Oh, uh, it's a lot I mean? of work. So, yeah, it can be a lot of work, mm. you know, because um, hair grows fast in the sense of where you can see where it's growing. 
Oh, like a, right, like so a five you, o'clock shadow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So everybody will think, man, just cut that all the way off, dog. Mm-hmm. And <clears throat> there's a lot more, you know, into it. Then your, your face has got to complement the bald head, right? Your yeah. facial hair. You might be one of them people who can't grow a Ricky Ross. You can't get that thick, full beard to kind of at least give you something to work I, with. I got you. Right? You know, you might be one of them Patch Brothers, one of them Splinter Brothers. You can't get it to come in. It don't you know, connect it all don't the connect. way. Ain't got no connect over here. Ain't got that. You know what I mean? For hey, all what? those brothers, they need to get a little bit of that Donald's recipe. That's a plug. Get you some of that and put it on hey, there. Hey, why you laughing yeah, over there? Put your yeah, head Yeah, because I used to be a little shy right here. Then my connect went right. I put a little donut. <laughs> <laughs> but... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I um, yeah. I mean, just like women, men have their insecurities, and but when it comes to body, so yeah, body. But okay, this is another portion of it. Now, let's say this: there's a. I know with me, I can look, I can kind of maintain how I looked right in my younger years. Mm-hmm. Excuse me. But you can feel your body changing. You like, yeah. oh man, I didn't got caught up in this. Mm. Man, when I got up off the couch right there, <laughs> to get a little lump, like, whoo, felt something. Like, hey, that that didn't, and that can be alarming. Mm. You know, I, you know, knock on wood, never had no real health issues, never no broken bones. I've been blessed to play sports. You know, at a at a Pretty decent level. Um, I never. I don't want to say that I didn't think I was unbreakable, but I thought I, you know, I, hey. But when so when you start to feel that, hey, and when oh, you coming at when you coming at me, and I've been pressuring you for twenty five years, hey, but let's do it. Let's go again. Let's go. And then I'm looking at you like, man, go to sleep, man. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about that, it. Like I'm like, hey, man, you different insecurity. You like, wait a minute. I but, gotta, I, but are so, you insecure so, about that? Nah. Right. Nah, big butt. Mm-hmm. I'm conscious of it, right? Yeah. So you of the change. So I don't become insecure about mm-hmm. it. So you so and what what prevents that is reality. Is, is reality and yeah. making sure I stay in that gym. Like yeah. I gotta work out. Gotta hit them squats, fellas. Gotta <laughs> <laughs> so it's the but, squats is what yeah, um, yeah you gotta keep that blood circulating so you gotta, if you do you extra squat, squats you gotta eat you we gotta make sure we do two rounds is what you're saying on the weekend <laughs> <laughs> listen, but it's no thing, we yeah. have them uh the insecurities just like yeah the same just like everybody else um i mean just like women mm-hmm. um they just come in different ways it, it's it's I'm, I'm gonna say not just like women, because it's different things. You had you you had two kids. Yeah. I can't handle two kids. But I had that kind of trauma on my body. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm I'm not going to have stretch marks and things of that nature. Mm-hmm. Uh, however, it does not change the fact that my body changed or mm-hmm. is changing or subject to change, and I know it. Right, so he's like, I'm looking down the road, like, man, this is gonna happen. Yeah. Th- this nothing, ain't nobody beat these odds yet, this right? Ain't nobody beat it, so this is going to happen. And it, and if you um, don't, you know, acknowledge it, take preventative measures, it, it, the onset of it could be sooner. Um, but yeah, absolutely, I. But you know, I mean, what you're saying, I don't. Is what I. You know, the other thing, too, Bay, is I don't really. I, I don't really care what what other people think. It uh, ain't about nobody else. Yeah, no. I, yeah, I'm like, it's really more so like, no, nah, I want I want a certain quality of life. Yeah. Um, as I get older. So yep. I ain't shying away from no conversations. I ain't bashful. It's like, hey, this is what it is. Hey, look, man, mm-hmm. hey, you, you experiencing this, bro? Yeah. You, if you are, hey, what you doing? Did you find a way to fix it? Mm-hmm. All right, that's, that's just the way I think. Um, and that's why I found my comfort. I ain't, I ain't doing none of that hiding because your quality of life going to suffer. So to me, it sounds like, hey, everybody have insecurities. Man, woman, it, it does not matter, right? Um, and everybody's insecurities can be different. 
However, what he just said is kind of what I said. You got to also get to a place where you feel free enough not to care anymore. Mm -hmm. um, not allowing yourself to believe you got to look at how the world says you need to look. But also being vocal about it with your partner. Um, encouraging each other, right? Because, you know, it does help. But also keeping an open line of communication. If you have a village of people, you know, for him, like he just said, you, you asking your boys, like, man, you, you experienced this? Uh, and the same for us, you know, when a woman get pregnant, she hitting up all her, her, her friends, like, girl, what happened when you was pregnant? You know, you asking the questions, uh, not being ashamed of what your body is going to change into and, and not hiding it. And I think that comes with us normalizing real bodies, real life, um, not say anything bad about like plastic surgery and people that feel the need to do that, honey, if that's what's going to make you feel better, go on about your business. You do that. Right. But if you, if that ain't your journey, you got to learn to embrace and love yourself just as you are and know that it's okay. Cause honey, somebody going to still like it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> love it. Right. As long as you love it, honey, they going to like it too. So, hey, um, I got I, this just came to me too. Okay. Um, the the other thing too is that what I try to practice is what am I feeding myself? Not in the not literally feeding myself, but what am I viewing when I'm on my mm. phone? Um, in relation to where I'm at in my life, um, who am I working out with? Mm. Like who am I keeping company with? Right? Because I think sometimes we can be following the wrong people mm. or and they may not you they they might have been may not even be intentionally trying to get you to do things as they do, but sometimes we can lose sight that they're not forty four. Mm -hmm. They're not these are this may be a twenty year old person who has yet to experience what you've experienced. So they really don't have anything to offer you depending upon what we're talking about in the physical, right? Um Especially I thought if you about it mentally strong yeah. enough to know that you're in the leading. You're position. in the leading position. Yeah. I I, I came to that because I was at the gym this morning and and one of the guys is probably 15 years younger than me. Um, I'm not opposed to taking advice from people with working out, but I had to remind him that, uh, hey dog, that's for you. That ain't for me. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you 30. I, I ain't trying to push I'm, up. I'm about to be 45 this year. <laughs> I'm not doing no 250 pound reps and trying to, bro, I got stuff to do this evening. <laughs> I'm going to go over here and do this 44 year old workout. You know what I mean? The one that work out. I, and I ain't going to spend too much time going back and forth on that. Mm -hmm. Is that so it's important that, you know, I, I think it's important that you yeah. know, you, you try to keep company with some of these younger guys or even guys as much older than you and you don't understand that, you know, time in, in, in life and where you at in that time in life is important. You got to acknowledge it, that that 60 year old man got wisdom to offer to you. He got things that he can offer to you that's to, that's going to come. Yeah. However, he's at a different stage in his life. That 45 year old man, he's at a different stage in his life. At 30, he's at a different, he or she is at a different stage um, just with their, their physical makeup, just things that are going to happen that just you have no control over. Mm. You know, don't 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 put too much on it, but don't ignore it. That dude, we we age for a reason. There's a this there's a true. reason, and things are going to happen. That's right. Well, babe, you look good to me, babe. Ah, uh, yeah, you, you know, I put in the work. I even shower these days. Put a little. You put some lotion on the day and everything. Yeah, I, start, I got good about my lotion regimen, babe. Cause you, I seen Kev, Kev, Kev ain't holding us down. Kev be on here putting, he be, his hey. knees be ashy. Kev. Kev, we love you, though. We love you. I, and Kev made me feel <laughs> bad one day. I said, man, I got it. I got to hold Now, which Kev you talking about? Kev Durant or Kev, uh, Kev on stage? I don't know Kevin Durant, <laughs> so I ain't saying nothing about that, man. Kev on stage is a friend of mine. He know I love him. I don't be, hey, listen. listen. But Kev know better than be showing his knees like that. <laughs> <laughs> Kev, <clears throat> AKA Kev on stage, we love you, brother. Um, we, we, gonna, we gonna do some more traveling together. We gonna make sure we bring extra lotion just for you, okay? Yeah. Uh, but this has been great.
I, I, I appreciate you loving on me just the way I am over all these 25 years, mm -hmm. uh, even when I didn't love myself. It's all good. I, I appreciate you for loving on me, too. But watch how you talk about my girlfriend. What's your girlfriend name? Tam. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Listen, y'all. Uh, y'all love yourself just as you are, however you are. Baby, if you want to feel better, do the things that are going to help you feel better. Mm -hmm. uh, and most times when you do the things that make you feel better, you'll also begin to look at yourself and look better to you. So uh, that's it. We all got insecurities and uh, it's a normal thing to have. But every day we can work a little harder on them. All right. Very good. You got anything else, baby? That's it. Well, Bring the beat until in. the next time, honey, y'all go on about y'all business. Have the most Body. amazing day. But Body. even if you can't have a good one, don't you dare go messing up nobody else's in, but you're supposed to flex the muscle right there so you can show them what you've been working with. <laughs> I'll see y'all later. Peace. <laughs> Thank you for watching this episode. And you can watch more conversations like this by clicking here. And if you haven't already, please remember to subscribe to the channel. And you'll be the first one to know when we got new episodes. Very good.